On to part seven. Must be approaching the end of this whole big thing by now. Bash looks like she's in a lot of pain. I never thought I'd be forced to run a marathon on top of a mountain. If anything, you should be praising me for fighting valiantly all on my own. Not a fan of long distance running? It's okay. If you want to sit down and take another break, we won't mind. But you should know that we're not going to wait for you another second. You think I don't know that? Come on, pick up the pace. Before more of those Osperniki catch up too. Hello there. Okay, that's far enough. Looks like you're not going to be crossing this particular finish line, are you? They were waiting for us? This is terrible. Those things have captured Ko uh, Koyon Sky, huh? I see. After my quick thinking... Uh, after my quick thinking, let me escape from the command room before anyone else. She must have found herself all alone and was forced to give herself up. The poor thing. No, Mr. Gordolf. The Operation Nikki didn't capture her. She's the one leading them. I don't know why she did it, but I think she's the one who orchestrated the attack on Chaldea. You're joking. Then you mean she's the one to, who's been deceiving me this whole time? The, then she's only traveled far and wide and worked herself to the bones so that I could land Chaldea for her sake instead of mine? Damn it, you little minx! How dare you toy with an innocent man's heart like that? Oh my, I think we have a misunderstanding, Your Excellency. We recommended Chaldea to you as a purchase with tremendous value. We were completely honest about that. You saw its value, accepted the offering price, and invested your personal fortune. We assassinated your rival bidders to guarantee your purchase. As a result, you gained the sole rights over Chaldea and its property, and were able to complete our objective without the association interfering. That sounds like a win-win to me, but then you go and call me a minx? I'm normally very gentle, but that really ruffles my feathers. So now, we're going to kill you all. It's time for you all to pay up for everything you're worth. Master, Mr. Musa, get back! Her smile is utterly false. I, I've never sensed such fierce bloodlust before. Oh, I'm impressed, shield girl. I guess you really do know a servant when you see one. But don't worry your pretty little head, okay? I couldn't care less about the other servants, so I'll make sure to kill you quickly. The only prey I really like to take my time with is the one of hu the human variety. The ones I'm really fond of, I like to stuff and mount on my walls. In fact, I got quite a nice collection now, if I do say so myself. You know how some people like to hunt foxes? It's just like that, only with humans. Gordolf isn't worth my time, but you just barely make the grade, Gabriel. I think you'd look wonderful on my mantle. Oh, but I'll have to remove some of the unsightly limbs first. Ah! Come on, Gabriel! To do something! You're the master, right? Don't worry, I've got the soldiers figured out now. Mash, you just stay behind me and back me up. If that's uh, all we're up against, I should be able to... Handle them yourself? I don't think so. Not when you have the Invincible Grand Duchess... When we have the Invincible Grand Duchess on our side. Oh. So that blue thing wasn't the Grand Duchess. This is. Death to those who disobey the glorious Tsar. Eradication to those who betray us. V. Is that pronounced that? V I. I will wish the wish this myself. I will curse them myself. We will reduce all good people to stone, to ice, to nothingness. Open your wicked eye. V. That's the witch who surrounded Chaldea. She's a servant. She froze the entire East Hall solid. This is it. I'm really done for this time. You're no match for her, Da Vinci. She's got you beat in abilities and looks a lot... Oof! Whoops, sorry. I really should be more careful with my staff. But you don't have to, if you don't have anything helpful to say, how about you be a deer and shut the hell up? That said, Gabriel, I'm afraid Gordolf isn't totally wrong. She is a servant, and not the kind we know either. Make sure you're ready to bag me up with those command spells. We need to sell this quickly before she gets serious. Grand battle. Oh dear. She's a caster and only has to wait three turns.
She didn't do anything. They're gonna have a first stage team here. That's not very good. That's really not good. Right, at least broke her first HP meter. Yeah, I'll use my command spells. battle has to go on for. Crap, again? Somehow missed Da Vinci. Okay. Uh, I think it's because of that uh, that buff she had on her. It's useless. A servant from proper human history has no chance against the ones from the Lost Belt. She survived hardships and environments you can't even imagine. You never stood a chance. Though I will say that you did pretty well, at least for a servant from this cushy world. Yes, I guess she's, she has quite the formidable, formidable spirit origin. You know, as they say, the bigger they are, the more common their weakness is. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Thanks for being so incorrigibly smug. A bomb? Ah! Better cover my ears! Anti-spiritual body flashbang? She's a clever inventor, that servant, but I'm betting that she's running out of tricks. Let's go after them, Your Imperial Highness. There's nowhere left for them to run. They're trapped like rats. Rats, rats, rats. There are a lot of rats in that house, too. And all they do, all they know how to do is know out their surroundings and multiply and multiply. Still, I recognize that that one of proper human history's greatest strength. If their strength lies in multiplying, we will show them, we will show our strength in eradicating all, them all the more fiercely. Our world, the lost spot we come from, is a cruel and frigid place. 
how laughable to think that they consider this mild environment cold. Soon, we will show them what true hell is. <laughs> Thank you.